All right guys, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to solve the problem Mars exploration. Samish spaceship crashed on Mars. She sends a series of SOS messages to Earth for help. Let us in some of the SOS messages are altered by cosmic radiation during transmission. Given the signal received by Earth as a string S, determine how many letters of Sammy's SOS has been changed by radiation. Let's see an example here. Earth receives SOS TOT. Sammy's original message was SOS SOS. Two of the message characters were changed in transit. So the message will be a series of SOS characters. If any of the characters are changed from the original one, we need to count the number of characters that are changed. So that's the whole logic. So it is so simple. For the constraints, the length can go up to 100. So that's a small number. And this is the sample input. The original message will be SOS, SOS, SOS and the series goes on. We need to check which are the characters are changed from the original message. Here P, Q and R are the change letters. So we need to return the number of change letters as the output. And this is another one. Here SOS, SOS instead of S, it is changed by T. So we need to return 1. And for the last input, this is the original message itself. So we need to return 0 because none of the letters are changed. Okay. Now let's solve the problem. Create a variable count that assigns to 0. It will store the number of changed characters. Now we need to create the target string. So target equals string will be multiple SOS. S O S O S. Now we need to specify the number of repetitions that is R. First we will find R. R equals length of S that is the whole message divided by 3. So this will give the number of repetition of SOS messages and uh, I am just multiplying this uh, SOS messages by R. It will create a string like this. So this is the target string we need to check. Now we need to create a loop to iterate characters from both strings for i comma j in zip of s comma target. So i and j will hold each character from the string. Check for the condition if i not equals j if the character didn't match, we need to increment the count by 1. It will do the operation for all the characters. Finally, we need to return the count. Return count. So that's the whole logic of the program. This will create repeated string. This is the main logic. Main logic. Okay, let's run the code. It passed the sample test case. Let's submit it. Yeah, we solved the problem. If you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for new videos. See you soon guys.